Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this triangle ABC, and this triangle, the sides of the triangle are labeled as uh, uh, x plus 1, x minus 1, and x. And the two angles at the base of the triangle is labeled as theta and 2 theta. And we are required to find the value of x and the area of the triangle. Okay, so first thing that we can do is we need to draw a line from this uh, point A downwards that will be perpendicular to uh, the segment uh, BC or side BC. And we actually form two uh, right triangles. So let's call this uh, B. This is point B. And we form two right triangles, A, D, C, and A, B, D. Okay, so let us label this uh, segment D, B as A. And if that is A, since the total of B, C is X, then this C, D will be X minus A. Okay, so we can label this uh, segment A, D as H. So this is the common uh, height for the two triangles, so H. And by Pythagorean theorem, so they have the same height, so we can say that h square is equal to h square. Okay, so the hypotenuse being x plus 1, so for the left triangle, left right triangle, so x plus 1, we need to square that and subtract the this x minus a, so x minus a squared for it to become h squared and for the other right triangle we have uh, x minus 1 squared then we need to subtract a squared okay so we have uh, x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus uh, x squared minus 2ax plus a squared is equal to x square minus 2x plus 1 minus a square so a square so we write this x square plus 2x plus 1 minus x square minus i mean plus 2ax and both minus uh, a square is equal to x square minus 2 x plus 1 minus a square and we can simplify this by cancelling this this becomes 0 and this one and one cancels out and this uh, we uh, let this 2ax to be on the left remain to remain on the left side so 2ax is equal to x square minus 2x uh, and also we cancel this uh, a square negative a square and this will be a uh, x square minus 2x and this positive 2x will be negative 2x on this uh, on the right hand side so we have here negative 2x or 2ax is equal to x square minus 4x and we can factor out the x so we have here on the right hand side so x times uh, x minus 4 equal to 2ax okay so we can just cancel this x and x and a is equal to x minus 4 over 2 so we just divide both sides by 2 or simplifying further we can say that a is equal to x over 2 minus 2 okay so while the other value so x minus a uh, gives us uh, since we need to write this x and a is x over 2 then minus uh, x over 2 
minus 2 okay so this gives us a x minus x over 2 minus i mean plus 2 because you need to put this uh, negative there distribute the negative sign so and this uh, x uh, my x minus x over 2 uh, we can simply write this with the same denominator so 2 okay so this becomes a 2x minus x and plus 2 and this gives us a 2x minus x is x over 2 plus 2 so this x minus a is equal to x over 2 plus 2 okay so we can replace x minus a with uh, x over 2 plus 2 so x over 2 plus 2 and this uh, a will be x x minus 2 or x over 2 minus 2 so x over 2 minus 2 okay so next is we draw a line from this uh, point a uh, such that this has the same inclination as a a b this line so we just draw this line so this will be 2 theta also and this length will be x minus 1 okay and this distance will be x over 2 minus 2 okay so next is we need to get this distance this distance let's call this a point e so the whole is a x over 2 plus 2 so let's call this a ce so the whole is a x over 2 plus 2 we need to subtract this uh, x over 2 minus 2 so minus x over 2 minus 2 so we just copy this ce is equal to x over 2 copy then plus 2 then we need to distribute this negative sign so negative x over 2 and for this 2 uh, so this becomes a positive 2 plus 2 and we can cancel this because x my x over 2 minus x over 2 is 0 so ce gives us the value of 4 units so ce is 4 units okay so next is we use exterior angle theorem so for the exterior angle theorem on this triangle uh, ACE okay so we have this exterior angle 2 theta at point E this angle 2 theta and if we use the exterior angle theorem so if you have if we have an exterior angle then the sum of this is equal to the sum of the two remote angles so the two remote angles is here this angle in this angle so if this is a uh, this angle we call this exterior so 2 theta is equal to let's call this angle as uh, y so this uh, the sum of this 2 will be this 2 theta so 2 theta is equal to a theta plus y so y will be equal to theta 2 theta i mean minus theta we just need to put this to the left hand side so 
y will be equal to theta. And we just need to uh, erase this y and put this as theta. Okay, so next is we see that we again focus on this triangle ACE. And notice that it has two angles inside that are equal. So theta and theta, this theta and this theta at the bottom of the biggest triangle. And since they have uh, two angles that are congruent and it's an isosceles, then uh, the side opposite, these two angles should be equal. So uh, this angle at C is opposite to x minus 1. So x minus 1 is equal to this angle at this angle. So this angle is opposite to the side which has a length of 4. So this is 4. So we say that these two sides are equal. So x minus 1 is equal to 4. And <coughs> since we have that equation, we can simply uh, put this a negative 1 to the right hand side. So gives us uh, x is equal to 4 plus 1. So x is equal to 5 units. Okay, so next is we get the length of the two other sides. So, so for length AC is equal to x plus 1. And since x is 5 plus 1, so AC is equal to 6. And for AB, so AB is equal to uh, x minus 1. And since x is uh, 5, subtract 1. So we have AB is equal to 4 units. Okay, so since we have the three sides, uh, that we got already the three sides, so it is best that we use Heron's formula. So, but we need to get first this semi-perimeter half of the perimeter of this uh, triangle so s for the semi perimeter is equal to uh, x or the three sides so the three sides are 4 plus 5 plus 6 so divided by 2 so s is equal to um, this becomes a uh, 9 plus 6 15 over 2 or shall we say 7.5 units okay so for the area the final step so we have a is equal to the square root of the semi perimeter times the semi perimeter minus the distance the first distance and times semi perimeter minus the next distance and the semi perimeter minus the last uh, length of the triangle. So we can say that this is the square root of semi perimeter is 7.5 times 7.5. I mean 7.5 minus. Uh, minus 4 times 7.5 minus uh, 5 times 7.5 minus 6 okay so simplifying we have a is equal to 7.5 times uh, 3.5 times 2.5 times 1.5 okay so we can write this uh, decimals as improper fraction so we have here uh, 
7.5 is 15 over 2 and 3.5 is 7 over 2 while 5 is I will 2.5 is 5 over 2 and 1.5 is 3 over 2 Okay, so to summarize, our answers are for the area, uh, it is equal to 15 over 4 square root of 7 square units and for the value of x, it is equal to 5 units. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.